show you some awesome stuff that you can do that's cost effective for your home gym. I'm getting a lot of emails and comments and messages about people being bored with what they have at home and they wanted us to come up with or they're looking for other creative ways to get creative with fitness. So we've been thinking and we've put together some ideas for you. The first one is a slosh pipe. Now, all you need is a PVC pipe, a little bit of water, and you can do endless amount of things with this. It's kind of like your own makeshift bamboo bar. If you've ever wanted to use a bamboo bar but haven't got the opportunity, this is how you can do it. So you can squat with it, you can press it, you can do carries with it. It's gonna work your shoulders, your midline, your hips, everything for good stability, and it's gonna be super challenging and also not expensive to make. The other thing we're gonna share with you guys is an at-home pulley system. So I know if you've ever been to a gym and they've got the cable systems where you can do your tricep extensions and things like that and you're really missing that, we have a cost-effective way that you can build one of these at home that's gonna be super awesome for you. So I hope that you guys enjoy this. Make sure to put any comments below that you have about what we're building or what Pat's building and I'm supervising and stay tuned for the, the do-it-yourself stuff. We love it. First project, slosh pipe. This is awesome. We had these at one of our gyms and we're super excited to make them now and we're gonna share this with CrossFit Polaris when we can finally get back. But for now, we'll utilize it in the garage. So we have this 10 foot, three inch PVC pipe and this is gonna make two so we can each have one. All right, this is literally probably the fastest easiest thing you can possibly make to add something new to your training routine. So what I've got here is I've got one 10 foot stick of three inch pipe, four caps, and my primer and my glue that we use for the parallats. Really what I'm gonna do with this is I'm literally gonna cut it in half, put a cap on the bottom of it, fill it half with water, cap the other side, and we're gonna be done. Doesn't get much easier than that. All right, so step one, Cut your PVC in half. We had 10 foot. We cut it into two five foot sections. Step two, Pat's got this purple primer. Both of these come in a package together. So it's the primer and the glue. Don't skip the primer. So what he's doing right now is he's primering all of the insides of the caps, which are going to go on the ends. And then once he primers that, so you can see he's done the entire inside. Make sure to be careful with this stuff. If you get it on any cuts in your hands, it's going to burn really bad. Once he's primered the caps, He's gonna primer the outside ends of the PVC pipe. So the cap primer will sit on the end of the PVC primer and then we'll glue it together. All right, so I'm building two of these at the same time. And what I'm doing first is I'm going to glue just the bottoms of them or one side. I guess it could be either. I got plenty of glue. I'm gonna force my cap on, hold it for just about 30 or 40 seconds. Um, chemical reaction does wanna push it before it grabs. And then once it does grab, it's just, it's not going anywhere. So a few seconds there, I'll let it grab, and then on to my next one. Right now, all we're doing is we're filling the PVC pipe about halfway. So again, it's about five foot. Pat's just kind of peeking in. We're gonna fill it to about two and a half feet. So there's no kind of right or wrong. Just try to aim for about halfway full on the PVC pipe. Then I'm gonna stand here and hold it while he glues the outside and the cap. And we're gonna pop this together and it's done. All right guys, we got our first slosh pipe. Uh, it does not look like it's gonna be anything challenging, but this thing probably weighs about 25 pounds because there's eight to nine pounds per gallon of water. So when I pick it up, all the water's on the bottom. And then as I turn it, you'll quickly see it wants to pull me in all sorts of directions. So what we can do with it, see how it's, it's kind of trying to rock me side to side. We can do squats, my jeans are stretchy. So we can push our hips back and down. We can do squats, forcing us to stabilize. We can press behind the neck or from the front, holding overhead. We can march in place. The water just trying to keep it over the center of our body. We can front squat. We could do step ups. We could do pistols and all sorts of things. You guys can get a super awesome workout with these and they're also really fun. They're very deceiving. I hope you guys give it a try. So total cost for two of these was about 20 bucks. And the only things I bought was the three inch pipe and four caps. And that made two of these. All right, so our next project is gonna be our home gym pulley system. So similar to where you guys have seen us doing our banded tricep pull downs, things like that. Now we're gonna be able to actually add weight to it, just like a cable system that you would see in a gym. All right, so there's nothing fancy about this. It's just something extra that we can add to our tool bag. 
Um, I got all this stuff at Home Depot. You can find it at any hardware store. Um, the kind of something to pay attention to is all of these will have weight ratings on them. And this big carabiner is rated for 110 pounds. Um, it'll show me right here on the top. I've got some smaller ones here. This one's actually rated for 660, so that's not going anywhere. This larger one's 250, 250 pounds. My actual pulley here will hold 420. And our little manila rope here is rated for up to 124. So for what we're doing, we're not gonna be lifting anything more than that, but pay attention when you are buying stuff. So I don't have many pieces, but what I'm gonna do is put together my top portion first, which is gonna be my pulley. I've got a little pulley, and this one actually swivels, which makes it pretty nice. Um, and I'm gonna take my smallest carabiner, and I'm gonna hook it through there. I'm gonna tighten that back again. And then I get to hook that one to my larger carabiner, which now that pulley can hang from. If you've got a pull-up bar, rings, whatever you've got, this kind of gives you an anchor point to hook that to up top. Next thing I'm gonna do, once I've got that hooked up, I'm just gonna put one end of my rope through my pulley, which creates one in for weight, one in for me to work, work with. With my weighted side, I'm gonna add another carabiner to where I can either click it, clip it to my rope handle or any other implement that I wanna use with it. So I'm just gonna tie a double overhand knot right here. It's a slip knot that I can pull nice and tight. And that's gonna be my working side. Then I'm going to take this piece right here and slide that through. And then just like any Globo gem or anything like that, I'm actually going to tie a knot on either side. Oops, lost one side there. Same thing, a knot on this side. And there's my working handle. Once Pat has the main pulley belt, he just tied a little knot or a little loop so we could hook a carabiner. And then from here, what we'll do is we'll just take our carabiner right around whatever weight we want to use. So we'll just pull it through and then hook it to itself. So now when I stand tall, we guesstimated for me, soft arm bend, same for Pat. And then I can pull my elbows down to my side and then start my tricep extensions. And as the weight feels light, I can add whatever kettlebells or dumbbells or whatever we want to be pulling so we can get a different style of bodybuilding workout in. This is really exciting. So we're going to show you a couple awesome exercises that you can do with this that are going to hit your triceps, hit your upper back, and just target different muscle groups for some really good bodybuilding. So I showed you guys the tricep extension. Next, I'm going to start with face pull. So face pull is going to get my upper back. So all I'm gonna do is step away from the pulley system, athletic stance, midline's engaged. I'm gonna drive my elbows wide, squeeze my shoulder blades back together, and then release. So I could make this harder by adding more weight, but I wanna make sure I keep my elbows high and I squeeze my shoulder blades together. From there, I could go into overhead tricep extension, which is gonna hit just a little bit differently. So elbows are in tight, and I'm just gonna extend and then let my arms fall back behind my head, or my hands. So those are really good. And then finally, the one that I'm really excited about is a seated lat pull down. So I'm gonna come down to the ground. My legs will be in front. I can sit back just a little bit. And then from here, I'm just gonna pull down to my chest. This is probably my favorite one. I could use a little bit more weight but we'll play with it and we'll dial it in. Some awesome exercises that you can do for super cost effective. Pat will give you the exact cost, hit lots of different muscle groups and keep your training fresh and exciting. All right, so here's another one that's one of my favorites and really whether it's this setup or another one, it's really about getting creative in your own gym. So what I've done is I've set my squat rack up right underneath the pulley system and I'm gonna pull it underneath and now I'm gonna do horizontal pulls, which just changes the angle. I could sit on a box here. I could do a lot of different stuff, but it just adds some elements and it's fun just getting creative. So whether you guys have a rope or any other different attachments, this little carabiner right here allows you guys to kind of get creative and put whatever you want on there. Uh, total cost for this was about 25 bucks, I think. 
That includes all the carabiners, the attachments, and the rope itself. Uh, so it's very cost effective and you guys can come up with as many different ways that you want to use this as possible. The most important thing to remember is you, nothing has to be fancy in order to get a great workout. The slosh pipes cost us about 20 bucks. The pulley system cost us about 25. And we're gonna be able to do all sorts of different exercises and get fit in a whole new way. And I think that's also what functional fitness is. And we need to remember that. Pat and I always like to remind ourselves, we go to the gym and we work on our fitness inside of the gym so we can be fit to do things outside of the gym, like rock climbing, hiking, biking, all sorts of things. So remember that our training in the gym is to help us outside of the gym and we're not able to go to the gym right now. So it's fun to get creative and come up with new different ways to work on our fitness and also keep it fresh and keep it fun. We hope you guys have enjoyed this video. We love bringing you the do-it-yourself stuff. If there's anything else you want to see or any ideas you guys have, make sure you comment below and then like the video so you don't miss any of the next projects that we're going to be sharing with you. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day.